Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't done so, please do so right now. And I want to talk about the LeBron, LeBron the Carmelo Anthony signing. In case you haven't caught it, he has agreed to sign with the New York Knicks for five years, over 120 million, but not the max of 129 is the reported. Wow, gee, thank you, Carmelo Anthony. Wow, thank you. So you gave us roughly about a, when I say us, you Nick fans, a $9 million break. <laughs> now, if you caught the news, he basically broke the news on his website. And he wrote almost like an essay now. What's with these stars writing essays on their website? Whatever happened to the old days where you'd be in front of a reporter's, get asked the hard hitting questions. Nonetheless, he states on his website that he is on he, his heart was never unwavered. He always knew that he wanted to play for New York. <laughs> what a crock of shit. Spare us. And if you're a Nick fan, I hope you're not believing this. But let's um, let's just take all the facts into consideration. He opts out, which is he is. Obligation, he could do that if he so chooses. But he tells the Knicks he's coming back Saturday, well after LeBron James already made his decision. And why was that? Because even, this is what I theorize, even after LeBron James has decided to go back to Cleveland. He was hoping, Carmelo Anthony was hoping, that Pat Riley would be making that phone call to him. Hey, Carmelo, come play for us. All indications are that didn't happen. So he waited to the very last minute to let the Knicks know. And if your second best offer is $50 million less than what the Knicks were giving you, that is a report uh, as to what the... Chicago Bulls gave him why wouldn't you come back to the Knicks only the smart thing to do so to speak and now the Knicks <clears throat> that five-year deal that Camilo Anthony is getting he'll be way into his 30s and statistically careers after the age of 30 are on a decrease there are your, you know, exemptions. Jason Kidd, who was well, you know, in his prime, even past his 30s. But that's realistically where it is. So now, with this heavy contract, how many more years of Carmelo Anthony at his prime are you getting? F at 30, his prime should have been in his 20s. I think, again, that this is a bad signing. Bad signing. Why? Doesn't know how to play any defense. Shoots, shoots, shoots. Yes, his scoring percentage is high, but he takes a shitload of shots. So now, who's the Robin to Batman? J.R. Smith? <laughs> Must be kidding me. Do you think you're going to get Kevin Love? No. W what room? So, you got Carmelo Anthony, who through his former teammates saying that he's not a great teammate. He just shoots, doesn't pass. You have 2015 to look at. You're not, it's not a sign that I would have made if I were a Nick fan. But then again, who are you going to get? Who's out there? But let's not be fooled. And I'm sick and tired of hearing about how this was his, he always wanted to come here. Carmelo, you came here 
because that's the highest offer. Your second highest offer was $50 million less with the Chicago Bulls. And you had Derrick Rose, Noah. Derrick Rose can't stay healthy. Who knows if Noah will be there for the long haul. Okay. That's just my opinion. But please, with the stop, the stop with the fake sincere oh I wanted want always wanted to be back home you come where the money is let's just be honest with each other let me know what the, your thoughts are on this signing of Carmelo Anthony until next time interesting to see if Carmelo will be able to handle the triangle offense until next time adios over and out